Today, we're diving into a critical topic, five ways to fail as a cloud engineer. Throughout this video, I'll outline the essential skills and knowledge areas that you cannot afford to ignore if you want to succeed as a cloud engineer. If you're new here, I'm Greg, the creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud, and each week I create a video to help you navigate your AWS and cloud journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right now. Now you may think it's kind of silly. Why would you watch a video about how to fail as a cloud engineer? Well, here's the thing. If you want to succeed at something, you have to be aware at ways that you can fail. And that's why I'm highlighting that in this video. To start off, I want to focus your attention on number one, neglecting infrastructure. Neglecting infrastructure is very damaging to being a cloud engineer because every application is built based on compute, network, storage, and database. Let's start with compute first. Compute includes servers, virtual servers in the cloud, for example. It includes containers, and it also includes serverless options, such as AWS Lambda, as an example. You need compute to process workloads in cloud applications. If you don't understand how much memory you need, whether you need GPU, whether you need CPU, if the things I'm saying don't even ring a bell, that means you might not have a good understanding of compute, which you could be at risk. Compute is one of the areas that you have to note backwards and forwards because this is gonna be a fundamental building block as a cloud engineer for any cloud application that you architect. Let's talk about storage under infrastructure. You need to have a good understanding of block, file, and object storage, as these are the most common storage types used to build cloud applications. You need to understand these from a cost perspective and performance perspective, so you can put together the right storage solution to meet the needs of your cloud application. Database, almost every cloud application that I'm working with needs a database to persist information. You have your web app layer, which is a part closest to your customer. Then you have some sort of a business logic layer or the application layer. Up under that, you have a database layer, which interacts with your application layer. If you don't understand what a relational database is, or a NoSQL database, or things like time series database, or graph database, if these sound like unfamiliar terms, you gotta understand databases because as a cloud engineer, you're gonna need to have a good understanding of that to be able to build your cloud applications. And finally, under infrastructure, I wanna talk about networking. Networking is how traffic moves both inbound and outbound on your application. If you have limited to no knowledge on networking, it's gonna be very difficult for you to build a cloud application because you're not gonna be able to define how your application communicates to the various parts not only to your end user customers, how the underlying components within your cloud application you communicate. For example, the web, app, and database tiers. That's why infrastructure is a big one. If you don't understand that, chances are you're gonna fail as a cloud engineer. Number two, ignoring Linux. Linux is an extremely popular operating system in the cloud, and a large amount of servers running in the cloud are built off of and running on Linux. If you're not comfortable around the Linux command line, writing scripts, automation, this is something you're gonna to wanna to double down on immediately. Because if you're trying to build a cloud application and your business that you're working for is predominantly Linux servers, that's gonna be an uphill slope to climb. Number three, the third way to fail as a cloud engineer is never learning a programming language. Now I'll tell you, you can get to some length without understanding how to program. But at some point, you're going to hit a wall. You're not going to be able to have deep conversations with developer teams. You're going to struggle with infrastructure as code. Being able to automate your cloud environment is going to be very tough. If you need to be able to do demos or proof of concepts, it could put you at a great disadvantage. Rather than avoiding how to learn how to program, I would definitely learn how to program sooner than later. The programming language I would recommend is Python. It's very easy to learn and it's used in a large amount of areas such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, and robotics, just to name a few. The fourth way to fail as a cloud engineer, overlooking and ignoring security. You need to have an understanding of security at many levels. Application security, network security, database security, 
storage security, encryption for data at rest, encryption for data in motion. If you can engineer a cloud application as a cloud engineer that works, it's great. But if it's not secure, it doesn't matter. Not knowing cloud security could potentially put your cloud engineer career at the biggest risk, which could have disastrous consequences. The fifth way to fail as a cloud engineer is you have no earthly idea about cloud computing. Let's say your employer uses AWS Cloud, for example. If you don't understand fundamental services like EC2, S3, RDS, DynamoDB, Identity and Access Management, Elastic Block Store, Elastic File System, Virtual Private Clouds, Multiple Availability Zones, Regions. If none of these terms are ringing a bell, having a career as a cloud engineer is going to be very tough. Without these cloud computing skills, you're going to have limited ability to address your customers' needs and solve their problems. The good news is there is a solution to all of these five topics. To sum it all up, if you want to succeed as a cloud engineer, you have to avoid these pitfalls at all cost. Make sure you deepen your understanding of infrastructure. Get comfortable with Linux. Learn a programming language. Prioritize security concepts and expand your AWS cloud knowledge. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful videos like this to help you navigate your AWS cloud tech journey. Let me know which topics you'd like for me to cover next in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.